So we've already established that the Food Network has undoubtedly had some really crazy scandals that rocked their boat over the years, like Bobby Flay's not-so-perfect marriage and a winner on the Food Contest show who was charged with murder. But there's even more. And if you haven't already seen our previous video on this same subject, then you should definitely check it out. Now, if you think there are no Food Network scandals that can make you go, whoa, you better sit tight for this one, as we dig into even more crazy scandals of some of your favorite cook hosts. Number 7. Jeffrey Zakarian Sometimes fame and some amount of wealth don't protect you from the harsh realities of life. At least that's what Chopped host Jeffrey proved to us. With his presence on four popular Food Network shows and ownership in various restaurants, his influence in the industry is undeniable. However, even with fame and success, life can throw financial curveballs. Back in 2011, just a few months before he snagged the title of Iron Chef Super Chefs, things took a surprising turn. A bunch of former employees from his now-shuttered restaurant country threw a class-action lawsuit his way. They claimed Zakarian was skimping on overtime pay, cooking up fake payroll records, and pinching pennies for meals they never even got. The former staff sought $1 million in damages, along with an additional $250,000 in penalties. Zakarian, of course, denied it all, but the legal battle came with a hefty price tag. His spokesperson, Jarrett T. Keller, spilt the beans, saying the chef had to file for bankruptcy because fighting off the lawsuit drained his wallet dry. It's a tough spot to be in, even for someone as talented and successful as Zakarian. Number 6. Graham Elliott Sued by Employees This would not be the first time that a Food Network host and restaurateur would be called out by his employees, but this one has quite an interesting backstory. Former Iron Chef contestant Graham Elliott found himself in hot water over tip handling at his Chicago restaurant, also cleverly named Graham Elliott. The controversy kicked off when ex-waiter Gregory Curtis filed a lawsuit against him back in 2012. His beef? The staff were being made to pool their tips, which would then be spread around, including to the cooks and food runners. According to Curtis, the wait staff were forced to pool their tips, which would then be redistributed among the staff. Curtis said food runners and cooks should not have been entitled to a share of the tips, as they do not customarily and regularly receive tips. He sued for the wages that were lost as a result of the tip pooling. Surprisingly, Elliot didn't put up a fight and instead decided to settle with his former wait staff, though the exact amount remains a well-kept secret. So, it turns out, according to federal law, tip pooling is only on the up and up if the funds are shared among those who typically get tipped, making cooks and food runners ineligible for a piece of the pie. Number 5. Cat Cora's DUI when you hear the news of your favorite chef being involved in a minimal accident and booked for driving under the influence, what do you make of that? Well, probably nothing, but here's the full story. In 2012, celebrity chef Kat Cora had a close call, and it wasn't in the kitchen. Nope, she got herself into a low-speed traffic mishap. And here's the kicker. She was driving with a blood alcohol level more than twice the legal limit. Yikes. Cora candidly admitted to having three beers before the incident, which resulted in her rear-ending a BMW. The driver of the BMW, well, didn't hold back when they called 911. They described Kat's driving as all over the place, with her yelling and acting, well, downright weird. It was pretty intense. Now, here's where it gets real. Kat faced the music and got three years of probation, a fine, and a suspended jail sentence. She also had to put in nine months at DUI school. She issued a statement basically saying she met messed up big time. She deeply regretted getting behind the wheel when her designated driver wasn't available, and she promised it was a lesson learned. She took full accountability and pledged that it would never happen again. Talk about a wake-up call. Number 4. Giada De Laurentiis's Rumored Cheating well, by now you must have known that even the food stars don't always get the best of relationships, and sadly, marriages. In this case, it's about the ugly divorce between Food Network star Giada De Laurentiis and her husband Todd Thompson. Back in 2014, Giada dropped a bombshell when she announced her split from her hubby after more than a decade of marriage. And you know how the rumor mill loves to churn. By 2015, E! News was all over it, reporting Giada's adamant denials that she'd ever strayed from her marriage vows. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Whispers started swirling about Giada cozying up to none other than John Mayer and fellow chef Bobby Flay. The Mayer rumors had been floating around since 2010, and when Giada's divorce timing aligned with Flay's own split from Stephanie March, well, the tabloids practically went into overdrive. But Giada wasn't having any of it. She shot back, saying we're very good friends, but I don't think that's ever going to happen because I'm smarter than that. 
Fast forward to 2018 and Giada's friendship with Matt Lauer, who was in the midst of a major scandal, raised eyebrows yet again. Rumor had it that there was more to their bond than just friendship, but Giada set the record straight again. However, that was one scandal that indeed raised eyebrows concerning her personal life. Number 3. Nigella Lawson's Drug Abuse you know Nigella Lawson, right? The culinary powerhouse with a knack for whipping up amazing dishes. But she isn't just a whiz in the kitchen. She's also a top-notch author and journalist with a whopping eight books that flew off the shelves. But as you know, every superstar has their ups and downs. In 2013, things got a bit rocky for Nigella. She and her ex Charles Saatchi accused their former assistants, Francesca and Elisabetta Grillo, of some serious money shenanigans, claiming they swiped hundreds of thousands of pounds. The Grillo sisters fought back, saying Nigella gave them the green light to spend as long as they kept her drug use on the down low from Saatchi. And here's where things get really interesting. During the trial, Nigella came clean about using cocaine more than once, but she was adamant that she wasn't hooked or using it regularly. She said, I have never been a drug addict. I've never been a habitual user. There are two times in my life when I have used cocaine. The Grillo sisters ended up walking free from the charges, and that was quite the turning point in this headline graph grabbing legal saga. Number 2. The Next Food Network star, Huge Lies We've all heard people tell cock and bull stories just to get what they want, like when chef Robert Irvine lied about his culinary credentials, but maybe this one tops them all. Season 3 of The Next Food Network star got pretty intense when Joshua Adam Garcia, aka Jag, found himself in some hot water. The drama unfolded right before the final vote, and it was all about Jag's not-so-honest past. So here's the scoop. Jag had been bragging about graduating from the New York restaurant school, but it turns out he never actually got that diploma. And as if that wasn't enough, he'd been spinning tales about his military service too. He'd been claiming combat experience, but it turns out he'd never been deployed to a war zone. Plus, his time as a Marine got cut short for reasons that remain a mystery. Oh, and he wasn't even a real corporal. He got demoted over a hazing incident. Paul Rykoff, the bigwig from the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America, was not having it. He said, pretending to be a combat veteran is an insult to the 1.6 million Americans who have been to Iraq and Afghanistan. In the end, Jags was dismissed from the competition. Talk about a near victory. Number 1. Patrick and Gina Neely Fake Marriage this story of Patrick and Gina has to make the top of the list for couples faking to be happy in their marriages. In the eyes of fans who tuned in faithfully to Down Home with the Neelys over its impressive 11-season run on the Food Network, Pat and Gina Neely seemed like the epitome of a perfect couple. They cooked up a storm together, lived life side by side, and just seemed like the perfect match. But then, bam, out of the blue, it all came crashing down. Their marriage ended, the show wrapped up, and even their beloved restaurants closed shop. It was was a total head scratcher. Fast forward a few years and Gina spills the beans in a 2018 interview with People magazine. Turns out after two decades of marriage, things hit a bit of a rough patch and she had actually been thinking about parting ways with Pat even before the TV gig came knocking. TV stardom wasn't exactly Gina's dream. She was a bank manager in her past life after all. The whole fame thing? It started weighing heavily on her family. Putting on a show of a happy couple when the magic had fizzled out? It became too much to bear. So in 2014, she mustered the courage to grab her bags and make her exit, leaving her lawyers to handle the nitty-gritty with Pat. It was a tough time for Pat, no doubt. But guess what? He bounced back, found a new love, and is now reveling in the joys of a fresh start with a whole new family. As for Gina, she took a different route. You might have caught her on Bravo's To Roam for Love. Down Home with the Neelys, however, lives on in perpetuity thanks to the magic of reruns, even though we now know it was all a sack of lies.